Hi, my name is Fadzi. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about my three easy steps to finding your personal style. I've got some notes here ready to go. I've got my juice ready to go. I'm going to take a sip. Okay, and we're just going to start off with my first point, which is find inspiration. I can't stress this enough that the most creative people um, find inspiration from the people that are already around them. Find inspiration from people, things, spaces, um, things you watch, things you see all the time. I find most of my fashion inspiration from YouTube. Um, so uh, a lot of YouTubers that I follow online, um, a lot of bloggers that I follow online, I find a lot of inspiration from them. I follow a lot of fashion channels on um, Instagram and on YouTube so I find a lot of inspiration from a lot of other people who love fashion just like me. I like to be inspired by people's different styles and what people are wearing and all that kind of stuff. So my tip to you is to find inspiration. Find people with style that you like, style that you identify with, um, style that you think you could maybe pull off, style that you want to try, and go from there. When you see somebody, maybe on online, and you see that, oh, they have the kind of style that I like, then maybe you can go through their profile, look at the people that um, interact with them, the people that they're following, and that's how you just get into this whole cycle of finding people who are who have style that you, you would like. Uh, you can find inspiration from... Things like, I don't know, I was watching a YouTube video the other day and um, she said, oh yeah, I find inspiration on how to style certain clothes from seeing different colors together. And I was like, wow, that's actually kind of cool. Like if you see a wall that is painted with certain colors, you think, oh yeah, I could wear those colors maybe um, with the clothes that I have and things like that. So make sure that you get inspired by things and people all over the place. My second tip is to experiment. Don't be scared to try out new things. Always, always, always try out new things. Don't limit yourself to just wearing what you, you know and wearing what you have. Be sure to try something out next time you shop. So let's say after you get inspired, you find a piece of clothing or you find somebody wearing a piece of clothing that you like and you're like I want to try that so once you found your inspiration then you next time you shop you find a piece like that or similar and then you try it out for yourself so don't be scared to try out new things is basically what I'm trying to say um, be open to experimenting with your clothing um, be open to trying out new styles be open to going out of your comfort zone and wearing things that are a bit different from what you're used to wearing one thing I've had to learn to do is wear color because I used to wear black on black on black that's the only color I used to wear now I incorporate more color, the only problem is the only color that I wear is yellow, so I need to start finding more colors. Uh, I definitely want to incorporate more red into my closet, so I've been looking for people who wear a lot of red, finding inspiration from them, and then every time I shop, I look for something red until I find that one thing that will help me jump into wearing more red and more colorful stuff. So slowly, slowly, I'm going color by color. Um, another tip with experimenting is mixing and matching different styles. Be sure to like try different styles and put different styles together, experiment with different things and see what you can come up with that makes you feel um, comfortable and feel good, which is going to take me into my third point, but I'm going to check if my camera is recording first because it keeps switching off on me. Okay, so this brings me to my third and last point, which I called, I don't know what to call, um, because it's a, it's a bit of like mixed advice, I guess, on a lot of different things. But the first thing I wrote was don't be afraid to mix styles, like I said before, which I kind of explained before, but don't be scared to mix style genres, let's call them style genres. So there's edgy, there's vintage, high street, there's street style, there's... Those are the ones that I can think of right now, but there's so many different styles that you could choose from and don't be afraid to mix them up. So don't limit yourself to just one style. Don't label your style. So don't say I'm more classy or I'm more street style or I'm more tomboyish or I'm more this, I'm more that, I wear vintage because that limits you to your options and your choices of what to wear and what you want to do. Um, so I would say 
instead of putting a label on yourself and putting a label on um, your style dress up the way you want to dress up and call your style your style that's why it's personal it is to you so it doesn't fit into any kind of genre box or whatever just make sure it fits into what you want to do and of course your style will probably reflect more of one genre or another but if your style does not fit into that box it's okay if it does by the way it's totally okay if it does i know a lot of people who are strictly like this and that's how they dress but if your style doesn't fit into that don't feel like it needs to fit into a certain box because I found with myself that it was limiting to me and how I wanted to dress I've been really learning about street style lately and sneaker culture and just getting into it and really educating myself um, about it I'm not 100% like educated about it but I do want to like start making videos about different um, styles and stuff like that so if you're like interested in me doing like some deep diving and some serious research into styles and doing videos on that please just let me know but like I have started to grow to love and appreciate street style and so like I would buy like street styly kind of items and like play around with them but then like now that spring and summer are coming I want to wear more high street style and I want to wear more blazers and skirts and things like that but I always felt like I was limited to only dressing up as one thing and not the other and so I thought it would be really uh, interesting for me to just stop trying to label my style and just dress up and it has opened up my wardrobe to so many possibilities now so I dress according to my mood I dress according to what I want I mix and match styles I wear things based on what I want to wear and not based on like fitting into the genre basically is what I'm trying to say with all this rambling I think my last like um my last kind of piece of advice is dress for yourself so dress in a way that makes you feel comfortable in a way that makes you feel good in the way that makes you feel like you're expressing yourself to the best of your ability and in a way that makes you feel confident because it's so important to present yourself in a way that makes you feel good and so I really believe in dressing up in a way that makes you feel good and not everybody else um, I think when people worry too much about what everybody else is gonna think of what I'm wearing or what I look like then you limit yourself to all the possibilities that your wardrobe could have and to me fashion is about self-expression not out not everybody expressing themselves onto me so express yourself your desires um your taste express yourself your mood you know so don't be afraid to wear things that are a little weird or that people will consider odd because at the end of the day you know it's up to you and it's your style it would it's what makes you comfortable confident happy um so i think yeah that's what i'm going to call my third category I'm going to call it dress for you so dress for yourself so get inspired find inspiration take that inspiration mix it up you know and then find what works for you and what you like and then dress like that it's just it's really simple finding your personal style my personal style doesn't have a lead if you want any other tips any other tricks if you have any questions let me know comment DM me on Instagram all my links are gonna be in the description box um what i'm wearing i'll try and find everything that i'm wearing out in the description box i don't know about this sweatshirt because it's from walmart um but i will try and put everything that i'm wearing in the description box i hope this video was informative i hope this video helps you find your personal style and if you have any other questions like i said before be sure to let me know and i will see you guys in the next video bye